what's the deal with COVID arm? That's right. Have you heard of COVID arm in the news and things like that? Uh, maybe you've gotten the COVID vaccine or know someone who has who've had these symptoms. Uh, we're going to talk about what COVID arm is today. We're also going to talk about whether it's dangerous, if you can still get your second dose of the vaccine. All the stuff you guys have been asking me about. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and an on-air health expert. I'm also a video creator. Um, for those of you, by the way, who are watching this, who are interested in content like this, uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell to get updates. So, okay, COVID arm. Let's get let's let's just jump right into talking about what it is. Okay, first of all, some people after getting either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine are getting in the arm in which they got the vaccine um, an area of what we call induration, which can be some firmness, perhaps some redness, maybe some itching, um, and this can happen some days after the vaccine in sort of the area. And in some cases, the area in which this occurs can be quite large, six to eight inches are some reports. And if you Google COVID arm, you'll see some examples of this on the web. That's what we're talking about. This has happened to a number of people, not, not, not a whole lot, but we know it has happened to some people and it's caused some buzz in the headlines because I know you're wondering, okay, well, what is COVID arm? Does, is this an allergic reaction? Can I still get my second vaccine? What's the deal? So I'm breaking it down for you. Let's go right to the CDC because they've recently updated their website talking about, um, and they've added information about COVID arm, which I think is excellent. Basically COVID arm or rather this rash that people people sometimes are getting on um, the arm that they get the vaccine uh, is basically another name for what we call a delayed onset local reaction. Sometimes people call it a delayed hypersensitivity reaction. It's called different things. But the idea is that it's a reaction to the vaccine. Um, the theory is that it's the body's sort of response, immune response to what's in the vaccine and what you're actually receiving. Now, the good news is the CDC says that, um, you know, those who get sort of COVID arm or this delayed onset local reaction, um, don't have a contraindication or precaution to getting the second dose, okay? So you can still get that second dose. In fact, getting the second dose is very important, right? Because we need both doses of the Pfizer and COVID, excuse me, both doses of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines to be fully vaccinated with those. Um, and let's see here, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, the other thing is that this reaction can start coming a few days after someone gets the vaccine um, and last even through the second week after the first dose. This is really important to note. So some people are having this sort of delayed reaction that lasts for a bit of time. And as I mentioned earlier, it can be quite large. If you look on on uh, on the web, you can see some uh, reactions that are, are large, six to eight inches, et cetera. It's different for everyone who gets this. Um, now, the CDC says we don't entirely know if people who get this delayed onset injection site reaction will have one when they get their second dose. We don't entirely know that uh, yet. However, um, we don't believe that um, these delayed onset local reactions are felt to represent a risk for anaphylaxis, which is that severe allergic reaction that can be life-threatening but is treatable uh, upon receipt of the second dose, okay? Now, one thing um, I should say that the CDC says, and I think you guys are going to be interested in this, is that if you did have COVID arm, this delayed onset injection site reaction, the CDC does recommend that when you get your second, um, your second vaccine, that you preferably get it in the opposite arm. Good to know, huh? Yeah, you want to get that in the opposite arm. Very, very, very important to note. This is what the CDC says. Um, you know, keep in mind that if you have any questions or concerns about any symptoms you get after the COVID vaccine, make sure you talk to your doctor. And remember that we do expect a number of people to have what we call local reactions. That's uh, reactions at the site of the injection, pain, et cetera, or systemic reactions, fever, et cetera, um, when you get the vaccine. So if you have these, it's not necessarily unusual. In fact, I had them after I got the Moderna vaccine. Did videos on that. I know many of you have seen those. Anyway, any questions about that, you should check with your doctor, ask your doctor to make sure all is good in the neighborhood, uh, but you want to make sure you get your second dose. Um, that is so, so important. Guys, I hope this is helpful. COVID arm, you know, it's a thing and it's happening, but it doesn't necessarily present a problem. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell to get updates. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.